uh, read out an excerpt of it, and it was absolute filth. And uh, <laughs> never enjoyed myself so much reading out. Good. Uh, now, uh, obviously, you know, we don't like to repeat uh, things we've done before, so uh, we're not going to read an excerpt uh, tonight. Sorry about that. Um, oh, okay then. Um, <laughs> Now what we've done, just to make it a bit different, is that uh, we've got uh, two actors to recreate the scene for it, <coughs> for us. So uh, this is a reading from Dare to Die by Gareth O'Callaghan. <laughs> her legs were spread out across his, and her gorgeous rocking n was the first thing he could see. Her wet vagina in full view, aching to be filled with his throbbing s I, yeah. I think you're doing Garrett's book an injustice there, you know, because you're making out it's just all about sex and stuff. But it, it's actually a very emotional book as well. And I know that when, when I read it, I had to keep a box of Kleenex near his hand. You know? <laughs> well, thank you, Brendan. <laughs> Man size, naturally. Uh, of course, yeah. You could now, say I was glued to the book. Yeah. <laughs> on page one. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah, it, if trees could talk, what would they say? What do you mean, if? Trees could talk. So you've had conversations with trees then? <laughs> no, I've listened to the trees. All right. And they said, no, 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 we don't want to be chopped down, thank you very much. We want to give you lots of nice, clean air to breathe, and we want to be beautiful, and we want to dance in the wind, and give you nice red leaves and all. Where is, where is the tree's mouth located, exactly? <laughs> <laughs> it makes conversation with its arms in the wind. Isn't it scary, though, that that's what English tourists look like when they get out of Temple Bar? <laughs> the joy on that man's face. <laughs> he knows how to have a good time. Well, I feel all itchy after that. Uh, yeah, what do you think those two clips had in common? Well, I mean, were people wearing the same costume and uh, kind of stroking their sticks, really. <laughs> Louis, just between yourself yes, and myself, and right? Yeah. Just yeah. between myself and myself. The other four members, when did they get in the old... <laughs> <laughs> when did they get in the old heave-ho? I go on, seriously. Are they just, are they just there as a tax write-off at this stage? Are they there? <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about a very successful band, you know? Yeah, but it'd be Look, even more successful if you cut out the four overheads, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, finally, uh, Michael D. Uh, and his Michael D. Yeah. <laughs> so, in a survey uh, this week, it was revealed that uh, Tony O'Reilly is the richest man in Ireland. Uh, he owns uh, Brendan, for instance. Um, yeah. <laughs> of course, it says Sean, who can't be bought unless there's two free flights to London. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan is a great advertisement for the beans. <laughs> I don't quite get that one, really, I'm, yeah. I'm scared of him. That must be some sort of drugs joke. I don't know. <laughs> it's what he's putting in the cans, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, uh, the question we asked was, Tony O'Reilly is the richest man in Ireland. Is that because he owns more politicians than anyone else? We asked this man, did he say, A, who the f*** is Tony O'Reilly? <laughs> B, Tura Lura Lura, Faith and Megara, Sean, isn't it a grand soft day, Your Honour? <laughs> RC, disparaging politics will not assist in the socio-political development of Ireland as a mature, self-confident nation-state. No, no, he did Can I just ask, have we just given up writing good answers at this point, <laughs> No, he, he definitely didn't say C. He definitely didn't say C. You know your, you know your constituents, no, don't I'd you? No, I certainly do. <laughs> C is the kind of stuff you would get to kind of... Liberal, re say. liberal yeah. reductionism, not even up to the standard oh, of bad no, postmodernism. No, again. No, no. But look, come on, you know what we want. Say f on TV. No. <laughs> I have to be fair to this man. Brendan knows very well that if you look at that man's face, that yes. were, he's he's a spiritual man. <laughs> You can see the pure... Spirits did have something to do with that. I can tell you that. You can see it from the eyes, you see. And the kind of long, vacant stare. He said B. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, he's B. He's representative of, of the tradition. Of Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. Uh, there's, there's so a lovely... Just say <laughs> brilliant. Just say <laughs> A man with lovely... Bring here to gab all night. Just say <laughs> that out of time. No, no, no. He's not... Nobody looks like that ever said it's such an appalling word like what, that. What word was that? <laughs> 
So you're definitely going for a B. I am. You're going and for the far worst. Two or lower, lower, lower. Okay. Kind of grade two. <laughs> <laughs> family. Let's, let's, have, let's have a look at the VT and find out. Let me ask you a quick question, sir. For RT. <laughs> this is for RT. This is for Irish Television, sir. Yes. Tony O'Reilly is reported this week to be the richest man in Ireland. Do you think that's because he owns more politicians than anybody else? Tony O'Reilly. Who the fuck is Tony O'Reilly? He owns hands, beans, and